Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Fala. I'm an evolutionary astrologer and I'm here with the weekly astrological message for the week between the 27th of May to June 3rd. We've had a very turbulent three weeks. Emotionally, it's been volatile. And I think we all felt it and we felt the challenges and the growth. Hopefully we felt the growth. But the main message for this week is that all that turbulence is fading away and we're getting clear celestial weather. The message for this week is, here comes the sun. So, basically, we're not all there yet. On the 27th, on the 28th, still some turbulence in the heavens. We have the opposition between Mars and Saturn in the sky at its height. It's a very frustrating time. It's a time that we have to all the time think about being responsible, about how our desires affect other people in our lives and we can feel like we want change or we want progression and it's not really happening in the pace we would like it to happen but consistency is key so the 27th and 28th are still a little bit harsh also the moon in cancer which is very emotional is conjunct that mars opposing that uh, saturn on the 27th on the 28th that moon opposes Pluto. So basically, as you heard me say it before, during these two days, remain calm, remain objective, use your cerebral abilities more than your emotional, uh, trust your, your cerebral uh, and, uh, activity more than you do your emotions and don't get carried away. Be kind to yourself and others. Don't be too harsh of a judge. The 29th, the 30th, the 31st, and the first of June are beautiful. We have the Sun moving into an exact trine with Jupiter. We have the Sun moving into a conjunction with Ceres. Uh, both of these would be, would be exact on the third of June. And we have um, also something interesting happening in the relationship and income scene. We have Venus moving away from a square with Pluto, which again brought turbulence and changes and sometimes chaos and anger into our relationships or the way we provide income and satisfaction in our life moving into an exact um, uh, conjunction with Uranus on the fourth which means that this is a time for an upgrade this is a time for renewal this is a time for adaptation in our relationships in the way we satisfy ourselves in our lives or the way we bring in money so usually when that happens either people go out and, and look for a new love, whether they're together or not with someone. So this is, this is a classical time for people to go on an affair, to have an affair with someone. Or uh, people actually look for the renewal within the relationship they're in. This is a great time to change things for the better within our relationships. Or we can change the status. If we're single, we can meet somebody. If we're with somebody, we can become single. Anyway, this is not a stable time, but this is a time for improvement. So remember, even if stability isn't there, this is a time for change for the better. The trine the sun does to Jupiter and the conjunction to Ceres are all about benevolence, having a kind heart, a lot of optimism and sun pouring into life, a feeling of abundance, a feeling like life is finally meeting our expectations, that things are floating back into our lives, that we can finally breathe and, and, uh, and, and have a sigh of relief, like things are really looking up. We have to be careful not to be too optimistic, because on the 31st we have the Moon in Leo, which is proud already, on the North Node, very strong. We should not become too confident, we should not become too proud we should not become too optimistic or even vain and not come off uh, as we want it, other people to to um, to see us or uh, actually uh, ruin our own plans by being too sure of ourselves so just remain um, as humble and as realistic as possible during these days because optimism is contagious and uh, too much optimism is not a very good thing as we know as well so the first of june is also a very beautiful day the second is challenging we have the moon with a connection to both uh, mars and saturn and 
uh, Chiron, so it's a very sensitive day, and the moon is in um, Virgo, so there's a lot of criticism there. Do not ask too much of yourselves or of other people on the second. Just be kind and as detached as you possibly can. But on the third, we have a beautiful day. The moon in Libra is conjunct, uh, is conjunct Jupiter. And when the moon is conjunct Jupiter in Libra, it's a time to celebrate life, to celebrate good food, good uh, drinks, good company, love, and, and the company of people we like. And basically enjoy the fact that we live within a body in a material plane. So, as I said, the main message is, here comes the sun. Soak it in, take some vitamin C, enjoy life, give thanks for the fact that we are here breathing, able to talk about all this together. And until next time, I want to thank you for listening. And of course, for questions, private lessons, or courses, you're welcome to contact me. I'm Boaz Feiler. Have a beautiful week. Thank you. Goodbye.